Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a pregnant power hour with a toddler. This is something I do every day before dinner time and it is completely life-changing for me. So I used to clean up after my daughter all day long and I got tired of cleaning up the same mess 50 times a day. So now I save it for one really good power hour right before dinner and it has completely changed my routines and my stress level is down tremendously. So to get started with this power hour, I do put on some music and I do put on a timer. This way it can keep me on track and I don't try to clean my entire house. So the first thing I do is pick up my living room and I vacuum off my couches. I do have a dog, if you guys could see in the beginning of this video, and she sheds so much. So I go ahead and vacuum all of that off and pick up all the clutter. All right, so my daughter's favorite toys are these wooden blocks. She loves building things and just doing colors and organizing, but unfortunately they end up all over my floor, as well as dog fur, as you can see. And a reminder, I do vacuum every single day. So my floors just look like this five minutes afterwards. And right when you think your job is done, you as a mother go ahead and fail and drop all the blocks you just picked up so you have to do it all over again. Let me know in the comments below if you've ever done this before. All right, and once everything is picked up off my floor, I go ahead and vacuum. I did not mop today just because we've been under flood watch and it's been raining off and on the past couple of days. So with my dog having to go outside to use the restroom, all she does is track in mud in the house. So if it's really bad, I do a quick spot mop around the door area, but I try to wipe her feet off. But it just honestly makes no sense for me to mop right now, knowing she's just gonna go back outside and track in more mud. Once my living room is all picked up, I go ahead and move on to the dining room table as well as the kitchen. So these areas are our trouble areas when it comes to collecting clutter. Once we come home, we just kind of drop everything right here. So it's our catch-all spot. Let me know in the comments what your catch-all spot is because I know we all have one. And what's your solution to avoid having this much clutter on your catch-all area? And of course, in the middle of cleaning, Aria does want my attention, so we have a little dance party in the kitchen area. She loves doing this, and as much as it drives me crazy because I just want to get cleaning done, I love doing this as well. All right, then moving on to my kitchen, I do just use these generic disinfectant wipes when it's a quick cleanup. I love using these and then I wipe down everything and as I finish wiping down, I go ahead and run some water in the sink. This way I can quickly wash my dishes and not have the water run for a long period of time. So I just add a little bit of soap and water to the bottom of the sink. And again, dishes is something Aria loves to help me do, so she actually just loves to be in the kitchen with me if it's cooking or cleaning. So I give her a little scrubber, I make sure I watch her the whole time so she doesn't fall, and let her scrub one of the pots and pans and a cup while I finish the dishes up. And it just gives her something to do and teaches her some responsibility as well. 
then for my dishwasher detergent, I did use the 7th generation Ultra Power Plus liquid wash. I was using the pod style washers, but I found that they were actually getting stuck to the door and it was causing the washer door not to open, so my dishes were actually never getting washed. And then once I'm done with the kitchen and living room, I do a quick time check. So I do have a ton of time left, but it's probably because I did not mop today. And since I have almost 30 minutes left, I'm going to move on to the front of my home. And since I have almost a half hour, I go ahead and take a little break to play with my daughter again. Trying to get into this ball pit when I am pregnant was so hard, but it was fun watching her laugh. And then using my Method bathroom cleaner, I go ahead and do a quick wipe down of my downstairs bathrooms, toilet, and sink. It gets super dusty right here because we have the washer and dryer in the hallway right next to this place. And so the lint gets everywhere in here, so I have to constantly dust this little closet bathroom. And then I normally just save my laundry now for one whole day, but since my washer was almost full of clothes, I went ahead and just grabbed some extra clothes so I can just do one huge load and get that out of the way since I had extra time. But after my power hour is almost finished, I take the last 10 minutes, I go ahead and feed the dog, wash my hands, and start dinner. On this particular day, we were doing a what I eat in a day. You guys have requested that video, so that video will be up on Wednesday. But that is pretty much my power hour routine that I do every day before dinner time. I hope this gave you some inspiration and some tips and tricks to hopefully make your days a little less stressful. If you are new, don't forget to hit that red subscribe button for some more cleaning motivation, pregnancy tips, and a day in the life with the toddler vlogs. As always guys, I love you and I will see you in my next video. Bye.